It's not very often I review a game that is pretty damn new or popular, a huge hot topic out there in gaming. It's not that I'm against that or anything. If you're a channel that can do that, that's cool. On this channel, I've talked about it many times. I cover whatever I want to and whatever I feel like it, basically. But one game that has really caught my attention is Among Us. Now, I heard a lot of people talking about this on social media. I seen memes of it. And a handful of weeks back, while I was on vacation, I decided to purchase the game on Steam. Among Us is developed and published by Inner Sloth and was released in 2018, which is funny because over the last handful of months, it really has gathered attention and popularity, where back then it didn't. Among Us was also released on the Android and iOS mobile devices, so you can play it on your phone. And if I recall, the game is actually free on mobile devices, where on PC you're actually buying the game, but not for a bad price. $4.99 is quite cheap. And if you're into games like this, you will definitely find it worth your money. In Among Us, you can play up to 10 people online, or local play via Wi-Fi. And you need to prepare your spaceship for departure, but you must watch out as one of the players, or a few more, are imposters. And they're trying to kill everyone. You will do tasks, which is how you win, or eject all the imposters. And the way to do it, you need to identify them. By doing that, a group meeting is called, and gameplay of the tasks are halted. You will discuss via chat who is the imposter, but some will use voice chat like Discord to play this game. They will choose who the imposter is, and if it's them, they are ejected from the spaceship. Or in other maps, they are dropped into lava and so on. If they are not the imposter, well, basically you fucked over the person you said was the imposter, and on top of that, the imposter is still around. So you must choose wisely, and usually if people see that the person is in the act of the killing, they will try to convince others who did it. And that's the fun part of the game. Some of the tasks you will do are electrical rewiring, fueling engines, maintenance work on vital systems, and more. The imposters are given a fake list of tasks tasks in order to blend in, and you can sabotage the map systems, the vents, kill crewmates, and so on. There are three maps in Among Us, and they are the Skeld, which is the spaceship, a headquarters building known as Mira HQ, and the planet base Polus. There are many cosmetic items you can have for your characters, such as spacesuit colors, skins, hats, pets. Some of these are already in the game, and some you can purchase as DLC. Which, as you know, I'm kind of mixed on that, but it is optional and it doesn't change the outcome of the fucking game. So over the years, I'm not as shitty towards that than what I have been in the past, but I'm still not a fan of it. I wouldn't buy it. When it comes to finding a game online, sometimes when you do play an online game, it will take forever to find one. Even in some of the popular titles. If you remember in my Dead by Daylight review, I talked about how it took forever to be the killer. In Among Us, I never ran into that issue. I have put quite a bit of time into this game, and I always find a game to join in 30 seconds to maybe 2 minutes. And that isn't bad at all. Finding an open server can be a little tough, as a lot of the games are full. But that's always a good thing. It means that the game is very active. And of course, you can obviously host your own games, so if you just want to play with friends, that is easy to do. Now, a few things about the early development of Among Us. It was inspired by a real-life party game known as Mafia, or some people call it Werewolf, and there's other names for it, too, out there. And apparently, it was only going to be a local multiplayer game with a single map. Also, when it was first released, there was maybe 30 to 50 players on the game, which that was deemed not a good release. And apparently, designer Marcus Bromander believed it was because of Inner Sloth was really bad at marketing. In mid-2020, the popularity blew the fuck up, started out in South Korea and Brazil, and then grew bigger in the United States. Apparently, a Twitch streamer named Soda Poppin helped make the game popular. Then your typical popular YouTubers and streamers like Ninja, PewDiePie, and more helped this game grow even more. Now, you're probably wondering, well, is Among Us ever going to have a console release? Inner Sloth has considered releasing the game to consoles, such as the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, but apparently they had issues implementing player communication, and as of right now, it is currently unknown what the state of the development for those releases are. Best thing to do is maybe play it on your phone if you want to play it that bad and you're not a PC gamer. Although I'm pretty damn sure older PCs can run this game without any issues. The graphics for Among Us are cartoon-like. Obviously the game is in a somewhat 2.5D isometric style. The design of the characters are simple, but cool. The design of the maps are nice and somewhat big, although it's easy to navigate through them. The game is colorful, but the colors fit the game like the spaceship and so on. The game doesn't slow down, no glitching, very little lagging 
as well, especially with this mostly being an online game. The animations are well done. Nothing I can really complain about here. The music, well, to be honest, there isn't much. The title screen has this dreary, dark, ambient sounding music, and it's pretty damn enjoyable, and I find it kind of relaxing. And when you are in game, there is no music, just sound effects, which is understandable, so not much for music, but that's okay with me. The sound effects from the movement of your character when you are doing tasks and everything is great. There is no voiceover work in this game, which I'm perfectly fine with. There's a lot of sound effects here, and plus you're going to be listening for stuff and other people around you and all that type of shit, especially if it's an imposter. When it comes to difficulty, I don't find the game to be tough. The little mini game tasks are very simple to do and easy to understand, which I think is kind of the point. They don't want it to make it a real brain buster on you and make your head explode. The toughest part would be making a decision on who the imposter is, and I would say that is by far one of the funnest moments of this game. But if you're playing this with friends, you guys are going to be having a good time laughing and joking around and all that type of shit. It's great. The controls, very simple. You can play this with your keyboard and mouse or just your mouse. I use the keyboard and mouse setup and they respond very well and you really won't have any issues understanding them. It's pretty straightforward. Among Us is a fucking cool game. Addicting as hell. I've put over 12 to 13 hours into this game. Maybe even more by the time this review hits. I've played with randoms, some good friends of mine, and so on, and it's a fucking blast. The game is simple to understand, the tasks are easy, the figuring out the imposters part is just awesome and fun. The game looks great graphically for what it is, it has a cartoon style to it. Not much for music, but for the little bit that's in here, it's enjoyable. The sound effects are damn good, the controls are simple. Really not much for flaws, other than maybe it's a popular game, because some people think that popular games are bad. I mean, some are bad, but this one isn't. Maybe adding voice chat would be cool. Of course, there are other ways to do that with Discord and so on. So that isn't really nothing to complain about. I can definitely see why it has a following though. And really it's a game everybody can play because it's that simple to understand. Now, like I said at the beginning of the review, you can get this on your mobile devices, either Android or iOS, and it is free on there. And it's on Steam for $4.99, which I think is a perfect price for this game. Now, apparently there was a sequel announced in August of 2020 titled Among Us 2. However, in September, it was canceled by the development team to focus on improving this game. Now, personally, I think that is a smart move. For one, this game is popular as hell right now, and a lot of people are playing it. Give this game a year or two, maybe longer, depending on how long that popularity lasts, and then do a sequel. And I do hope we get one later on. I hope you enjoyed this review of Among Us, and I'm sure I will stream the game in the future, as well as do Let's Plays. They probably won't be very long either, depending on how many different games I want to do in there. Thank you for watching. You guys kick ass.